this is Ivan. Today I'm going to take you through the basics of、uh, spaces, an extension for Adobe Illustrator for specifying dimensions and styles. And you can get、uh, spaces from Adobe Exchange. It will be installed automatically with the Creative Cloud app, or you can follow the alternative installation method suggested by Adobe Exchange. After it's been installed,、uh, you can find spaces under the menu window, extension. Then click on spaces to open the panel.、Uh, well, on the upper part of the panel,、uh, you can find quite a few settings about the appearance and parameters you can set here. I will probably go through this in the next tutorial. Here, in the middle of the panel, you can control which sign you want to. Specify the dimensions, along with a big action button at the center to generate them. On the right hand side,、uh, there are different types of dimensions for you to choose from. We set the default to、uh, display objects height or width, and distances between objects. At the bottom of the panel, you can switch from specifying dimension to specifying styles. I'll go through specifying styles in another tutorial. So、uh, let's start with specifying the width and height of an object. First,、uh, we will draw a square with 100 pixel wide and 100 pixel high. With the left side button is on,、uh, click the generate button to specify the height of the square. Then click on the top button and generate the width of the square too. Width can be shown at the bottom. While height can be shown on the right. Of course, you can specify both the height and width at the same time. Just remember, left and right is for the height, while top and bottom is for the width. By default,、um, we have set、uh, not to display the unit. However, you can toggle the display units button up here to display them, or you can hold down the Option key on Mac. Or the Alt key on PC while you click on the generate button to temporarily toggle the display unit on and off. For example, here you can leave the display unit button off here, and hold down the Option key or Alt key and click the generate button to display the unit. Well, for measuring distance. Spaces logics can display distance between two objects. Actually, you can、uh, select multiple objects and display the distances between them at once. Make sure you have、um, the specified distance between objects is on here. Select the objects. Choose which size you want to display the dis dimension and click the button. And it's done. All the distances are there now. They are also put together to the same axis to make a clean and tidy look. Uh, notice that uh, spaces also removed duplicate dimensions for you. For example, here the two square and、um, have the same height and they are placed to、uh, at the same level uh on the y axis. This one can be omitted. So, uh, spaces just do the do the job for you automatically. When objects are scattered like here, there are distances. But um,、uh, see when they are not scattered, there is no distance, but um, they are only just differences. Let me show you how spaces would present the differences between object positions. Select the objects and choose which side you want to specify the dimension. Spacey will choose the difference that is relevant to the side you choose. Yes, you can see when I choose another side. Um, Spacey show the difference here. Um, spaces display the dimensions actually to the contest and try to show the dimensions that 
make sense. Uh, we try to make um, spaces as intuitive as we can. Uh, you don't have to worry about uh, if there is distance between objects or just difference in position. And you can see it here. Um, just think of which side uh, would the dimensions be make sense to you and go ahead to make the dimensions. In the last part of this tutorial, I will show you a more real-life example. Here's a simple graphic layout uh, with some text and labels here, a favorite icon here, and a picture thumbnail at the bottom. Instead of just uh, select everything and make the dimensions at once, um, you will see uh, yeah, it's a little bit messy here. Um, here's a tip for you. Select those objects that are closer to the one side that you want to specify. Then do this one side by the other. Think about what is not necessary to specify. Uh, for example, I would not select a big title when I specify the top dimension. It's because um, assume it is a, a dynamic title and the text within this title will be changed uh, dynamically. So its width is less uh, relevant when you make the specification. There's one more thing I forgot to mention, but I think you may uh, already notice that. Uh, is that when you're dealing with uh, multiple objects and make the uh, dimensions, um, spaces automatically uh, pull the overlapping dimensions to an, to an outer level and display them nicely for you. Well, we think this will save you a lot of time um, to manage the dimensions and speed up the process a lot, especially when you uh, have to make a specification for a very large project. So uh, that's it for this tutorial. I'll cover other stops in the next one. See you.